when you read Feldenkrais or you hear him talking, there's always this thing of, I'm treating the person and not the problem, right? I'm, I'm, I'm relating to the person. It's not a technique, right? And I think that um, here in this situation, as we're encountering it, that's a primary distinction that's really important to make, which is no matter what you think of good action in sitting or, or good uh, uh, folding, that you, 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 can't, you can't bring those ideas to this encounter. The only, the only thing that you can bring to this encounter is making yourself as neutral as possible. And that in that neutrality, you have the potential opportunity, but it's only potential, to be able to, feed, to join your partner in, in the two of you moving together in a way that is pleasurable. Right? is the, where the person can encounter themselves and, and feel good about themselves. Now, the thing that happens, of course, the whole, the whole thing is a trick. It is, because what's happening is, if you're accurate, if you're even, if you're even two-thirds accurate, you are joining the person in the ways that they move, which means the, the, the ways that their distortions in their muscular effort, the distortions in the ways that they have adapted to gravity, are being enacted out. But they don't have to do it. You're doing it. You're saying, here, here. Let's do it together. But in the doing of it together, there is a supporter and a supported. There is somebody that you're not, I'm not leading, but I'm, I'm saying, here, you can lean on me. You can lean into my hands. You can lean. I, I, in, in that taking, in that taking you over here where you're going all the time, I'm sure of it. You're over there all the time. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel that there's an empty space there. What's the empty space? The empty space is where you move easily. It's smooth, it's light, it's, it's comfortable. Right? And so I don't feel any resistance. You, you, it must be friendly to you to go over there. It must be that it's, uh, it's something familiar to you. Not unfamiliar by any means. So it's as if, it's as if all of us have these pathways that we follow, whether I'm, or I'm, or I'm, there's a pathway that I followed in that moment. There's a pathway that I followed, and it's not an abstraction. It's not, it's, it's nothing to do with you. The pathway that I followed when I did that has everything to do with me and my biases and my inclinations and my injuries and my so you're you're moving me when you do that you if you take me there you're you're being you're being fred and only moving me where i'm ginger right you're you're being fred and you're only moving me where i can be ginger where i can realize myself as ginger does that make sense now, the trick is, what's the trick? The, tri the trick is that I say, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And then I begin to, you're in the, you're in the nexus of where I am, uh, all the places where I'm holding, or uh, I think Lena used the word, where my, where my organization is distorted. Even though you say, oh, but that looks nice. How can it be distorted? Well, it's distorted because I, I, if I go this way, blah, blah, there's a reason I'm going that way. 
So then the person starts to let go. And I've been telling people as I walk around, I say, look, look, we found the groove. Now if I do it 10 times, you'll be able to go the other way just as easily. And was I right? Or was I right? Right? So it's not, be, not because there's a magical number, but because it takes about 10 times, 12 times, before you start to realize that only, only good is happening. Only pleasantness is happening. And then you really let go. And now you can go, you, the thing you couldn't do, you can do it now. Because your, 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 your natural state is to be symmetrically organized. Your natural state is to feel the way you felt after the ATM.